Hick talk, start the clock. I need a couple donkeys. I could donk all day, boys. Call me Rob Donkowski. I'm the donkey talk man. If you stick a penny up your ass and it comes out green, it means you're sick. But if you're sticking a penny up your ass, you're already sick. Here, here. Need a little something for everyone. What needs recall? <laughs> Boys. Boys. You ready to get this rig rolling? That's a drum roll. Yeah, all right. Over and oot. We're searchers, you and me. But you deserve a chance to make a place in the world. See, I'm a searcher who just wants to settle. Wants it bad. Just can't seem to find that place that'll live up to you, my perfection. You want to tell me what you're doing in this place? Well, that's a fine thing to say to a customer. A customer who has brought the host of problems to my town, which already has enough problems. You don't know a cock -a duty thing about us. This town is not a good place. We're running from something, aren't we? I will always do anything to keep you safe. People around here, they forget. They forget the past. It's written in blood. I'm warning you. Something bad is coming. You listen to me now. People in places like this try to make you one of them. So they can use you and throw you away. But I won't let them. It'll be blood on Christmas before I let them. That's the story, Soup to Nuts. Elena, someone burned down your house with you inside. Do you know anyone that would do this? One day you wake up, and your life is settled, and you know who you are, or at least you think you do. This is Mia, everyone. She's new to Shaker. Hi, Mia. Hi. Do you even know anything about this woman? I saw her sleeping in her car. You rented to a homeless person. You know what felt good? Helping. I've been meaning to hire someone for my house. Just to do a little light cleaning, some laundry. You mean to be your maid? I meant more of a house helper. Did I do the right thing? Running from the truth? A good mother makes good choices. You didn't make good choices. You had good choices. Have you really looked at yourself? <sighs> the parts you're afraid to look at. This is the state's case against Gypsy Rose Blanchard. She's got paraplegia, epilepsy, heart murmur, and she's allergic to sugar. Everything I do, I do for her. My mom is my best friend. All she wants to do is keep me safe. Gypsy! <gasps> Have you been able to confirm the girl's medical history? Which part? Any of it. That's what being a mom is, never being sure you're doing the right thing, but doing it anyway. Not with the Children's Division of Missouri Social Services. Oh, no. Open. <coughs> Gypsy's got the mind of a seven-year-old. How old are you? Oh, she's 15, born in 1995. I thought you said I was born in 1993. I'm just going to ask you a few questions, all right? Can you read? Do you love me? Honey, 
giggling about? I met my Prince Charming. Hi. <laughs> I never once disrespected my mama the way you do. I'm so trapped. And I can't tell anyone. You can tell me. Nobody's gonna ever do more for you than I do. She's never gonna let us be together. Sooner or later, everybody knows everything about everyone. <laughs> Gypsy Rose Blanchard, how do you plead? Heresy. That's what you get punished for. No! Not for being part of the resistance. Because officially, there is no resistance. Not for helping people escape. Because officially, there's no such thing as escape. You working hard? Yes. If I'm going to change things, I'm going to need allies. Allies with power. Blessed be the fruit. Hi. You seem like you'd be good at influencing people. I just call like you in a place like this. Give me love. As Mrs. Waterford, you have influence. Up to a point. So move the point. At least there's still hope if I'm here. Now mom's got work. The human kind.